Hi, this is Cindy. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways you can access material that has been shared with you through OneDrive for Business, and then a couple of hints of ways it might be a little bit easier to work with those files. So anytime anything is shared through OneDrive for Business, all of the sharees and the sharer get an email similar to this one. In this case, Sean shared a folder with me. So I found the email, and the easiest way to access it is simply to click the link to this folder. It's going to open a browser window. If I'm not already signed into Office 365, it will prompt me to do so. But since I was already signed in, it went ahead and opened this. Now, since this is a folder that Sean created and shared with me, you'll notice it has his name right here. But he's given me full access to the documents here, so I can click and edit one, or I can delete one, or anything like that. Another way to get here, if I can't find that original email, is to just click into the waffle and go into OneDrive. These are going to be my folders and files, but on the left hand side there's a link called Shared With Me. So when I click the Shared With Me link, I see everything that anyone has ever shared with me via OneDrive. Now just a little aside, in the past when you would select something, you would have the option to delete it. That turned out to be a little bit of a naughty because it would not delete it from my view, it would delete it from the original OneDrive where it lived. So that caused a few issues you can only imagine. So Microsoft has improved this by giving us the ability to remove from a shared list. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, it does still stay shared with you, you just can't find it in the list. So if there's something from a previous campus or something you know you'll never need to access again, you can remove it from the list. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I want to find the folder that Sean shared with me and I have a ton of stuff in here so I'm going to use the search feature and I know that it was titled cheat sheet or something like that. So here it is. I'm going to click search everything because I want the folder. So here's the folder itself. It's still in my shared with me. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this folder name to get right back to where I was when I clicked the link in the email. This is just another way of getting there. So I could work from this view. I could open a document. Let's say I wanted to edit this one. I could click on this document. It opens in another tab. If I want to make any edits, I can click Edit Document and Edit in Browser, and I can begin editing right away. But that's not actually what I want to do. So I'll close this tab. It takes me right back to my folder. If this is going to be something where I need to add documents into this folder, then I can upload or I could arrange my windows so that I could see my desktop back here and maybe grab this document and drag it and drop it in. Notice up at the top it says drag items to any location. Um, so that's another way to add documents. But there is an option to sync this folder and its contents down to your computer for easier access. So if you would like to do that, I'm going to click sync Notice I'm in Sean's shared folder. I'm going to click sync, tell it to sync now. If you get a message like this, depending on the different browser you're using, it's going to look a little different. You're going to go ahead and select launch application. and It's going to run a quick little utility that's going to sync everything in this current folder, sync now, down to my computer. After it's finished, it's actually making a copy of all of these things to my computer and it's going to give me easier access. I can click the show my files or I can click this folder icon down at the bottom, which is the same thing. And you're now going to notice on the left hand side under your quick access, you have something called SharePoint. When I click on SharePoint, you'll see that I've already synced the director team documents and it is in process of syncing the documents from Sean. So when I double click on that, you'll notice he's actually shared a folder called EMS ISD Cheat Sheets and a folder called EMS ISD Documents. Notice that that one just turned green. It meant that all the documents inside of it have fully synced. This one we're still waiting on a few. Notice how quickly they're coming in. So it's now making a copy of those files onto my computer so that I can easily access them. 
I do want to point out if I double click to edit one, it's going to open into full Word or whatever the program was that was used to create the document. I'll go ahead and click enable editing and let's say that he had asked me to review some of this and I make some changes. Pay special attention in the upper left hand corner in our quick tools up here the save button that typically looks like the old school floppy disk that none of our kids have ever seen before but still means save is now replaced with a save icon with the little chasing arrows I call them symbol. What that means is when I make changes to this document and I click this save that's actually a save and sync back up to the cloud. So even though, I'm not going to make any changes here, even though I'm editing a document here on my computer then I'm going to sync it back up to the cloud. Now let's give one more example here. Let's pretend, I'll go ahead and close everything so you see I don't have to be signed in. I'm going to open an Excel document. Notice that I clicked Windows and I started typing Excel. I'll just open an Excel document. I'll put something in it. And now what I'm going to do is do File Save As or I could use the little Save As symbol up here and I want to save it into that shared folder. I can click SharePoint, click Sean's name, click the folder I want to save it in, give it a name, and hit save. It's going to take slightly longer to save because it's actually saving it up to the cloud, but that document is now there. If you have any questions at all, let us know.